Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome to another Wednesday class. I haven't been here for a while. Uh, please do say hello. There we go. There's someone. Hello, Sarah. Uh, but please feel free to say hello. So where you're coming from. Um, I'm just going to oh, sit up a little bit. There we go. Uh, so here we are, June. I don't know where you are in the world. Um, uh, Kim, nice to see you again. We have Kat on chat, so please do say hello. And if you have any questions, Kat will be able to answer. Um, here in Norfolk, it is not exactly sunny summer weather, seeing as we are getting close to the solstice. Uh, but that seems to be the way of the seasons at the moment all quite changeable um, and changeable in seasons as well as in feelings uh, is often the realm of the wood element and our point today relates to that so maybe it'll help us in that uh, in those changes okay so we've got lots of people saying hello now oh wonderful there's so many of us here it's so lovely to see everyone Let's get started straight away in the way that I like to get started. Um, oh, one second. Sorry, hang on. There we go. I just realized I'd left the door open. <laughs> right. We are all contained in the space. So now like I'd like us to uh, set up the space a bit more with each other. I like to do this not only because it's a nice feeling for the beginning of the class and the end of the class, but also because it does set up energetically the space. So whether you are here live or whether you are joining in uh, in, in a catch up, let's just set up a circle. So I'd like you to close your eyes a moment and imagine you're in a nice circle of people. And this is the class we're about to we're about to do a class, so this is the group that we are. And I'd like you to imagine standing in a circle of people. This is all of us joining in live as well as catching up later. And just be present and appreciate the group. A bit of thanks in our hearts. Okay, now we're going to join in the Wednesday class. You can open your eyes again. Fantastic. Thank you. And with this group feeling, we're going to do the usual thing. We're going to go through a bit of a scan, check in with the three burners, uh, check in with what the point is of the week before we get started, do a bit of energy work, a bit of health stuff. <laughs> and then we'll check in with the point of the week again. Uh, and then <clears throat> uh, sort of bring our energy back down a bit and then check back in at the end. That's the aim. We'll see if we get through all of that. You know me, my timing isn't the best thing in the world. Uh, so, okay, let's go through a scan. So I like to do this standing up. You can do this sitting down as well. So just standing or sitting, close your eyes, um, this time I'd like you to move your body to, to feel through and then we're going to scan just internally as well. So I'm going to kind of do a bit more of an external thing. So, so take your weight one side to the other, feeling into the feet. Maybe move one of your feet about, come over, move the other foot about so you can get a feeling of the foot, you know, and the ankle. And then into the sort of lower leg and the knee. Just, um, you're not trying to kind of like, oh, I'm going to make it feel better. You're trying to feel it, like, so that you can tell how easily it's moving. I can tell I've got a bit of a ache and a pain in, in my left knee. It can move okay, but it sort of just hurts not restricted. How about the right side? Yeah, that's all okay. 
So this is what you're doing, moving physically. Let's try the hips. Okay, I've got a bit of a clunky hip, so how's yours? On that side too, but in a different way. Just feeling into the movement within the body. How easily can you move? Just going through the pelvis. Now, what I'm going to get us to do is lean the pelvis forwards. So you're not leaning back, you're just tucking the tailbone under. Okay, now bring the back. It's like you're bringing your back forwards, so you're going to have to drop your pelvis back a little bit. So it's like you're leaning your lean the pelvis forwards, and then you lean the body forwards by taking the spine forwards, tip the tailbone back so that you can bring your body forwards. And you're going to do that, and then that, and that. Maybe lean it back. So it's almost like you're trying to go through the back bit by bit. Uh, and then the middle of the back. Oh, feels really weird, but you kind of get to know your spine a bit. Sideways. Yeah, I've got some physically in terms of the movement in my spine. I've got some aches. Shoulders. Just kind of move them about a little bit in a way that kind of gives you a sense of how easily they're moving. You're not having to do really big movements. You don't have to move as much as I am. I'm going to go into the arms a bit, elbows, and wrists and hands. Yeah. You're noticing how much tension there is. Okay, now we're going to come back to the torso. Bring your hands to your ribs. Now take them out. It's almost like you're taking your whole rib cage over to one side and then bring it forwards and then to the other side and then backwards. How, how easy can you do that movement? And how does it feel inside? Oh, when you do that movement, by the sounds that I'm making, it doesn't feel very nice. Ugh. Ugh. The point of the week is really going to help this, by the way. Okay. And finally, neck and head. So just take the neck gently, gently over one side. And then in front. Okay. Neck movement, pretty easy today. How's your neck? Be very, but just rather than taking the neck right back, just look up to open up the neck in that way. Okay, so just have a sense. We went all the way through the body physically moving to get a sense of how it's feeling. There were several points I had, I noticed. Just notice how they were with you. Now we're going to do an internal scan as we normally do. So if you could just bring your attention, close your eyes, bring your attention to the top of your head, scan through the head and the face, all the facial features and the muscles and the jaw. Now the neck, throat, sides, back of the neck. And across the shoulders, how are the shoulders today? And let's go down the arms. So down through the shoulder joints, the upper arms, elbows, forearms, intricate wrists and hands, and out across the fingers. So we've got the hands, arms, shoulders, neck and head. Let's now go into the spine and the torso. So the chest, upper back. How is it inside and going down through the rib cage, through the diaphragm, and then the belly and all the organs in the belly and the lower back, 
and now into the pelvis and the hips, buttocks, down through the longest bone in the body and the thighs. Internal awareness of knees. How are they all feeling through the calf muscles to the ankles and the intricate bones and tendons of the feet, toes, soles of the feet. Okay. Whereabouts did you notice in your body anywhere that needed picking up? Uh, and should we make a quick picture? If you have pen and paper, make a quick note of anything that you felt noteworthy. So for me, okay, this is a basic sort of physical layout of shoulders and hips a little bit tight, belly a little bit wobbly, left knee quite achy. That would be a very basic sort of thing, physically speaking. So now we're going to get into one more thing. Of course, the three burning spaces. Okay. So before we go right into the three burning spaces, let's just get a sense of our connection from above. So have a sense of the heavens or the cosmos or the air and the sky. It's very open. It's very open and light and naturally there's always movement. So have a sense coming through your upper body with the crown of your head gently lifted. Imagine a bit of space between your skull and your neck and your spine just loosely hanging down like a string of pearls. This openness, this light, this gentle, constant movement throughout the body. Allow your pelvis to be relaxed, your sacrum to sink down towards the ground. Hips relaxed and open, knees relaxed and softened, ankles relaxed and softened. Okay, now meeting the ground with your feet. Feel that solid, stable earth, very steady, very supportive, and just almost like you're giving in to the ground, not collapsing, but just giving in to really being on the ground. And just feeling that earth support coming up through the body, so supported through the legs, to the pelvis, through the torso, the arms and shoulders and neck and head. Okay. We have this wonderful heaven's earth connection. Now with this heaven's earth connection, just notice, are you, are you a bit more one or the other? Are you a bit more up, are you a bit more down? So let's now bring it into our Torso. We've got the lower burner from the belly button down to the pelvic floor, or at least down to the pubic bone. But this lower body, how is it in here today? Mm, okay, just a quick picture. Now we're going to move up, belly button up to diaphragm, middle burner. How is it in the middle burner today? Try to go with that first kind of quality feeling picture sense of it, even if you can't be really clear. But what we will do briefly is just go, okay, this is the middle burner. There's that quality. Let's just briefly compare it to the lower burner. Tune into the lower burner. There's that quality. Are they exactly the same? No, mine are quite similar, I'm going to be honest. 
but they're not exactly the same. Now let's go to the upper burner, so from the diaphragm up to top of the chest. What's it like in here today? Okay, really quite different for me. Let's just tune into the middle burner again. What's that like? Is it exactly the same as the upper burner? Okay, bring your awareness back out. If you have paper and pen, make a note. Um, so, So I've drawn mine just on the side here. <laughs> the, the like I said, lower burner and middle burner very similar. It's kind of a blobby, wobbly kind of feeling. But the lower burner was a bit sort of heavier. Uh, and in fact, the middle burner a bit more constricted. That's what I had. Upper burner though, nice and. <sighs> How were you? And this is where we bring out the poles. So, if I can find it, uh, which burner do you want to work on most today? Your lower burner, your middle burner, or your upper burner? Please do answer. <coughs> Excuse me. And of course, we will do a bit of work that will work with all of them. The point of the week this week is going to mainly be working with the middle burner. But um, that doesn't mean that we can't work on one of the others more. So lower and middle very close to each other. And you may have more than one that you would want to really work on, but just see if you can, what would be your one that you would choose? Uh, if you had to choose one. Um, so lower and middle completely even and upper not too far away. Um, Carolyn has asked, uh, this is a really interesting one and it comes up quite a bit, um, is the liver considered to be part of the lower burner even though it's housed in the middle burner? Well, uh, as Kat is writing and, and I know that I, I don't have to watch the chat, I ought not to watch the chat too much because I really need to just be focused on the class, but this is such a good question. And it does come up if you read into books. It is really middle burner. However, because the liver is the largest organ in our body, it actually reaches down into the middle burner. But more than that, its effects in the body and its functionings affect the lower burner, especially with women. But that is because of the effect on the blood and therefore on the menstruation and the menstrual cycles. So because more is to do with the cycles in the body as well as the actual blood itself. So it, it has a sway on the lower burner, but mainly lower burner is kidney and bladder and intestines. OK, really good question. I like that one. So let's get started. <coughs> Where are we up to? Oh, yeah, already 20 minutes in. So let's start with a little bit of light Qigong, just to get a little bit of movement going through our system. And then we're going to start working with... Uh... Oh, no, that's right. I like to do the point of the week. So let's just check in with the point of the week before we get any energy moving so we can notice the difference. And this is the point of the week. Um, very anatomical picture there with all of the organs. And don't worry about words, we'll come back to them. Mainly what I'd like you to look at is where it is on that picture. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> In the one of our floating ribs, um, I'm going to drop that down. So I'm going to show you 
if you let your arms come to your side and then bring your elbows, arms by your side, bring your elbows in where your elbow meets your ribs. And it might be that your elbow is like, you think your elbow is on your hip, but if you really like pull your elbows in, then where the, the, the sort of tip of your elbow is, <clears throat> will tend to be where your floating ribs are. Okay. Now, if you follow that down, now I'll get a bit closer now. So that's where my elbow was. Here. And if you follow where the ribs come in, and they come down, and they come down, and they come down, and then you have a gap. You have a gap where there's there's sort of nothing there, and then you have another rib. So this is called the floating rib, and you have two of them. The other one's like right back here. The first floating rib is just underneath that. And yes, that's where you tickle people. And yes, it often doesn't feel very nice. So don't just poke it. Gently sink into it. And see what that's like. Let us know what that's like. For me, it's a bit sore, but it instantly makes me more aware of how my tummy in general feels a bit wobbly. And we'll come back to that in a bit. But I want you to just feel it, get used to it, see what it feels like just, just touching it and contacting it straight away. Yeah, tender, Ooh, nippy. Uh, clearing tension in the diaphragm, interesting stuff. Okay, so let's get a bit of energy moving. I'm already warm, I'm gonna have to take off my, my jumper. Okay. Ta-da. So, <clears throat> You're going to stand there, feet about shoulder width apart. And I just want you to lift your hands up gently towards the heavens. And imagine, as I was saying, that light and openness. Imagine that sinking in whilst your hands are sort of following it, but also gently drawing it in to your head. And then round the back to send it down your spine. Come around your neck to send it in towards the front of the spine and down and down and then around the ribs. Remember, we've got that point here. So you're coming around the ribs, find that point and then come to the back here around the sacrum, open out. And now you're just off the body. And imagine bringing that openness and lightness all the way down outside, 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 and then you meet the earth. And this is where we then tune into the earth and that stability, that support, and allow that to come up. And it's almost like rather than bringing and pulling it up, you're following it as it naturally comes up inside, 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 through the belly, through the diaphragm, into the heart, Ah, and allow the heart to open as the arms come round. Now do it again. Hands gently rise up, and they follow as you allow the heavens, the, the sky, the openness, the cosmos, whatever you want to call it, allow above to come in, down the back, round through the front, through the diaphragm, through the ribs, through that point to the back and then around the outsides of the legs. And down to the earth and follow the earth key coming up through the center of the body, front of the body, through the diaphragm, through the heart, and then allow that to open out all the way to the horizon. Okay. 
Let's go through it a little bit quicker now and really try to feel the movement. And the hands are really following the key, they're following the energy as it moves through. Try to feel the heavens, that openness and lightness all the way through the body. Feel that earth support, that more nourishing quality all the way through. Feel that heart quality. Ah, oh, just lovingly opening. Okay, and a little bit quicker still. Just going as easily as you can. Don't worry too much if the specifics of the movement get a little bit whimsical, a little bit you know, <coughs> non-specific. It's more about the feeling of it. Get the feeling of heavens, openness, lightness, movement, all the way down, earth, stability, nourishment, heart, opening, connecting. A little bit quicker. allow your breathing to be however it needs to be okay and then finally no need to move the body so much just let the arms just kind of waft heavens coming in earth heart until you're just just doing that with the arms above below heart above below heart then keep a sense of those connections just keep a sense of them and let things settle and settle and deepen. Mm. Okay, let's just step out of that. <clears throat> Good. And we're going to do a little bit of connecting into the lower burner because it's always good to start with the lower burner but also that was one of the main areas people wanted to work on so we're going to do that and i'd like to start with let's just with all of that energy that we've just been moving and drawing in let's bring a little bit of energy through our hands scooping it to our lower belly our lower dantian so this is where the belly button is where the thumbs are, and then your hands are just over pubic bone here, belly button there, hands in the lower burner area, but this is also your lower dantian, general sea of chi. Okay, and just sort of do some nice movements, some circles, and as you breathe, Breathe into where the circles are happening. Pardon me. And as you breathe out, let it settle and stabilize in there. So breathing in. Sink down to the belly as you breathe out. It settles. Breathing in. And for you, when you tuned into your lower burner earlier, did it seem like it? sort of could do with a bit more warmth or stabilizing or activity or nourishing or calming you know what was it that it was like bring that quality listen to it be with it let that settle in this is so much of what's important is listening to the quality that's there feeling it and allowing it, not trying to say, oh, this isn't right, this isn't good, just allowing it, and then seeing what change might be appropriate for you and feeling that. Okay, now we're going to go around. If you can reach around to your back, sacrum, lower back, just doing circles with the backs of the hands. And if it helps, you can bounce 
in your on your legs and, uh, and if you want to you can bounce so that your your heels land on the ground like that and it sends like a a gentle kind of bouncy shock wave through the body you can do it a bit quickly if you want uh... make sound as well that sometimes really helps okay we're going to do some dough in in a moment do you remember that that's where you're gently tapping down the body and that's where we're going to tap down from the sacrum down the backs of the legs which is on the bladder channel and then squeeze up on the, tap up I mean on the inside of the back of the leg is the kidney, so the groin, sacrum, backs of the legs, inside backs of the legs. Last one. Okay. And now, of course, kidney one. I'm going to get the chair to do this. You all know kidney one. Ah, oh, there we go. So, one third of the way down. One third of the way down, and it's quite a you know it's quite a big area that this covers. So just really ah oh, sink in, and if you can't reach it yourself, the best thing to do is get someone else to reach it. <laughs> if you can get someone else to massage your feet, it's the best thing in the world. If you can't get someone else to massage your feet and you can't reach it yourself, use the like use a, a ball or the corner of a stair or something like that. Um, and sort of naturally, like if there's something solid there, you know, get your foot on it and work your foot around it. So you're still Still opening up that kidney one area and the whole of the sole of the foot. It's really helpful to just like open up. This is the most yin area of our body and it connects with the na natural yin of the earth. And the kidney one point is the most yin point and it really, really just it, like it's called bubbling spring because it really just naturally allows that earth chi and that yin to just spring up inside of us. Okay, give it a bit of a wiggle, a bit of a tap, a slap, or whatever works for you. Put my sock back on. Notice the difference between the two feet before we go straight into the other. Nice, very different. Okay, I'm not going to take the sock off the other one. It's quite clear. There's the dirty ball of the foot. So there's kidney one. Ah, oh, it feels so good. It feels so good. It's achy, but it feels so good. Really get in there. And you can just use physical massaging, or if you want to, you can sort of use a bit of energy, sending energy in through the point. I feel it much more through my leg when I do that. You can hold it and do the same. It feels very supportive, but right now I feel like my feet need this. They need the mm, sort of work. So you follow your needs. Okay, so a little bit of a Fantastic, I'm going to move the chair. Okay. Now, from having opened up the feet, feel them settle onto the ground, kidney one open, sole of the feet relaxed and settled and connecting to the ground. You've done a bit of dough in down the legs, feel those <coughs> openness through the legs 
openness in the ankles, the knees and the hips, into the lower belly, into the lower burner. Now let's just hold that lower burner area and take a couple of nice breaths in. And imagine now breathing from the ground all the way up into the legs. So imagine you're breathing in through your legs. So breathing in through the ground and up. In through the legs, filling up the legs, filling up the lower belly, and then breathe out and down. So breathing in as if the legs are breathing. Down and out. One last time. Breathing in. Okay. And let's just tune into that lower burner. How's it feeling now? Okay. Quite different. So now let's move up into the middle burner. Middle burner, how are you doing? We scanned in and checked in with you a minute ago, a while ago, I mean. Uh, are you exactly the same? Have you changed at all? Mm. Mine, mine's pretty much the same, I don't know about yours. So let's start doing a little bit of work with that. Um, I tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get us to do a bit of dough in first with this. So from the belly, gentle tapping, on the belly, down. So it's kind of like, this is if this is the midline, you're just outside the midline. Down the belly, down the belly, down the belly, out. Down the outer fronts of the thighs. This is the stomach, top to the foot, inner edge of the foot, inner front of the legs, inner front of the thighs. That's the spleen to the belly again. Out, up, out of front of the thighs, down, in a foot to in a front of the legs, thighs, last time. Stomach, and then coming up on spleen. Really governs all of the digestive tract and all of the digestive functions. So with that, we're also gonna do some circles. So around the belly button. So if the belly button is here, you're going around the belly button. Now, if you want to, you can put more pressure in and really push. If you're trying to kind of really push around the intestines, try and get the intestines really moving, if you feel like they're not functioning that greatly. But maybe you just want to be doing it lightly. Maybe it feels like it wants to be really slow and gentle and just being, it's okay. It's okay, I'm with you, digestion. You know, be nurturing and caring if that's what it feels like it needs. Or maybe you need more like energy to like zap some light in and be like, yeah, okay, let's get going. This is great. Let's really digest this food. Let's really move it through the intestines. So again, follow what your need is. What, how does it feel? What's it like? Be with that. And then just allow the appropriate response. Just go with it. So for me, it needs to be a little bit quicker. It needs to move. But it doesn't want to be too heavy in pressure. It wants to be a little bit lighter, a little bit more with some sort of I'm imagining like a warm honey, bright, energizing. What are you imagining? What's right for you? Mmm, yum. Okay. And we'll just do a few more. Normally we'd do 81. And then just really slow down and slow down. 
and then just come to the center just over your belly button and the energy that's sort of built up in the hands from just rubbing around allow that to sink in to the belly button sink in sink in sink in okay that's the stomach and spleen of the middle burner. But now we've also got the liver and the gallbladder and they govern more the sides of the body. So I'd like you to just gently lift up one side. We're gonna start from under the armpit and just come down the ribs like that to the, to the edge of the hip. Other side. Now, onto the hips. Outer edges of the hips are sort of like, you know, oh, I keep getting this sciatic pain. So really, really work around all of the hip to sacrum kind of area. Loose fist, you know, don't have a fixed beating. Just loose fist. Find where the, the sort of stuck areas are for you. And just give them an extra minute or so. And then go down the outside of the leg where the trouser seam is. And then come up on the inside. Again, pretty much where the trouser seam is. Outside, at the inside. And as usual, when I come up the inside, I turn the toes out, so it's a bit easier to reach. Okay. Loosen and shake everything, because what the liver and gallbladder really want is to be able to freely and smoothly move, as I was saying earlier. A little bit of a bounce in the body. Oh, I notice where that sort of where in the body feels like it's not able to loosen and move easily. And then take the loosening into that area. So for me, it's my lower back and my sacrum. Hence why I'm wagging like a dog. But for you, maybe it's more the shoulders, you know? Get more of that, or, or you know, if you need to get to the side of the body or a leg, your, your place. So go for it for you, just for a moment. Bit of movement in the area that's needed is going to help the liver and gallbladder, especially in an area that's really feeling it. And don't do my movement, do a movement for you in your part of the body, which you are noticing either at the beginning scan or just now when you're bouncing. And if you're unsure where that is, just Go to any part of the body that feels good to move. Okay. Now bring the shaking more generalized to the whole body. And make it smaller. And smaller. And smaller until there's pretty much no external physical movement. But you're still feeling a little tremor, shake, movement on the inside, make it smaller, allow it to sink deeper and deeper into your center, and deeper still, no matter what it's like, just allow that to sort of get to a center and then just drop into more stillness. Okay, step out of that. If you ever have difficulty getting to a quality of stillness, then just start with movement. That's where you're at. If you're having difficulty with stillness, then you're in movement. Start with movement. Like I said, start with what something is like. Feel it, allow it, be with it find yourself naturally moving in your way towards what is appropriate. Right. So let's go straight into point of the week. Uh, 
Uh, oh, Kim, you want to twist again? We'll do that after the point. Let's go to point of the week. Zhang Men. Now, this has a lot of different names. Order gate. So, like I said, find your ribs and where they come apart and follow it down and down and down. You'll find it gets to a point where actually there's a little bit of a, this feels a bit pointy, p -p pokey. There's a bit of a gap between where they've all been stuck together and then you get another rib that's just kind of floating around on its own and you come just underneath just underneath. And the quick way is, of course, if you hold that, the quick way is to bring your elbow in when your hand is turned out. And generally, it's, I mean, I've got quite long arms, so if I hang them down, I've got, I've got long arms and a short body. I'm, I'm very difficult to buy clothes for. Anyway, okay. Now, Order gate, also known as um, changing gate, or, or, or um, and there's another one where it's known as camphor wood gate or camphor gate. I will explain these names. Um, the quality it's said to harmonise the liver and the spleen, and releases the abdomen and lower back tension. So this is all really great because lower back happens a lot for people as well as tension in the abdomen. And this is a great point for releasing that because as I said, the liver chi wants to move smoothly. If it's moving smoothly through the abdomen and through the lower back, we then lose that tension that is too much tension. It wants some tension, but it wants some flexibility too. That's what allows that natural balance and harmony with things, which is classic to the liver chi. This is what we love. The spleen supports and it holds things up and it nourishes. The abdomen wants that and the lower back wants that because the lower back with the spine is supporting the rest of the structure on top. So again, we really want that. And all of that around this lower area, all the way up into the diaphragm, brings all the order to the upper burner, the upper area, the heart with its shen, the lungs with its inspiration and its boundaries and its recognition of value. So it really brings a lot of order uh, to these sorts of qualities. Hence the name order gate. This is the gateway to that kind of order. I'm gonna drop this picture. So now I would like you to find, you can follow this down, follow it down, and then, oh, there's a gap, and then there's another rib, and it's just underneath that. So find the point on one side. Okay, now that we've moved a bit of energy through our system a bit more, we've opened up a bit more, I'd like you to just sink in, and it doesn't have to be too physical, because for me, it's still very tender. Not as yucky, but it's still tender. Sink in. Start off noticing. Is the response just in that area? Is it in a different area in the body? Or is it not so much physical, but it's a quality within you? Ah, okay. What's that like for you all? So James says, this is a magic point. Lower back tension of past few days just dissolved as I go both sides a good rub. Thank you, thank you. That's fantastic. I just had a really interesting thing happen. So I was contacting the point mainly in the local area, kind of moved up actually. And then I had a sense of, ah, like I'm being supported and held a bit more. This is really important. And leads me to the other name, camphor gate or camphor wood gate. To the Chinese, the camphor wood and the laurel were both highly prized trees and wood. Wood for working with as well as trees in their own right. And um, when 
when you contact this point because it harmonizes liver and spleen and the liver is to do with the wood element the spleen is the earth element it is said that when you combine the wood element and earth element together the earth benefits the wood making it more usable and so we have that sense of when you have wood that becomes something so useful that you can build with it you can structure and support your life with it so that is the harmonizing of liver and spleen, hence calling it camphor wood for its prized value as a useful wood. There you go, lots, lots of lovely information. So let's contact the other side, if you haven't already done so. Simonetta, you've got a similar thing up into the chest and not so physical. Okay. And if you haven't easily found it, remember, follow the ribs down, gap, then underneath the floating rib. Really tune in and just allow it to be what it is. So there's a lot more pain on this side for me. A lot more pain. But what is it like for you? Where does it go? Is it more physical or is it something else? And again, it's moved up into here. And this is really interesting because I wanted to work with the diaphragm a bit today. And this is a great point for releasing the diaphragm. So let me know if you get anything else with that other point. So like I said, very painful here. And it did start to touch upon some more emotional pain, which is interesting. And I have a lot of that, especially with the liver and the spleen. So that's a... Um, interesting for me. I might use this point a bit more. Um, the diaphragm, which sort of runs across this area, it can often have a lot of tension. And the liver and the gallbladder both come to this point. Also the spleen, it harmonizes the two together. So have a sense of tuning into that point. So we're going to do this a bit differently. Tune into this point have a sense of that smooth flow of liver chi and that stabilizing quality of the flesh from the spleen. Generally, just have smooth flow of chi stabilizing the flesh of the body. Now, through your touch, bring your attention up into the rib cage a bit more where the diaphragm would be and breathe out breathe in stretch the diaphragm and breathe out relaxing everything if you can make an audible out breath so one more time Holding the point, smooth flow of chi, stabilizing the flesh of the body. Tune in to the rib cage and the diaphragm. Breathe in, stretch the diaphragm. Breathe out audibly and sighing and letting go. Okay, let go, just give it a gentle rub. Notice how that feels now. Tune into your chest a bit and your diaphragm. Okay. And let's just do a little bit from the chest and the upper body, just because we haven't done the upper burner yet. And then we'll just come down to close. Okay. So I hope that was okay for you. So we're gonna just do a little bit of tapping. Gently tap across the whole of the chest and down the, so all the upper, sort of inner aspect of the arm, all of the outer aspect of the arm, and then across the shoulder. Chest, gently down the inner aspect of the arm. Sorry to rush a straight arm, but it's sort of open from the middle burner to the upper burner, so let's use it straight away. Okay. Other side, gently tapping around the pectoral muscle, the chest, 
This has got the lung and the heart and the heart protector. So we're going to go down the inner aspect of the hand, up the outer aspect, to the across the shoulder. of the upper body. We're going to do that thing again. We do some strong breaths. Breathe in, feel the tension up into the upper body and then and like you, it's like you're trying to really let it go and send it down. So do that three times. So draw in tension and then release. Draw in tension and release. Last time. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take my glasses off for the next bit. So rub the face gently. Any tension, jaw or chin or teeth or eyes or forehead. Any tiredness in your face? I, I have tiredness in mine. And then take that into the temples uh, and sides of the head, around the backs of the ears, and hold the ears and give them a bit of a circling, and then tapping over the top of the head to the back. Anyone else have a hollow head? Okay. And you've got your neck, tapping down the neck, all the way around the sides, even into the sternocleidomastoid muscles in the front. Uh, and back around, okay. Bit of the shoulders. Stroking down the arms. Stroking down the sides of the body, and stroking down the legs. Okay, let's come back again. And we're almost finished. So I'd like us to just briefly tune in. How are those three burning spaces now? Lower burner. Nice. Just be with that for a moment and appreciate it. Ah. Middle burner. Settle in. How's that? Any different from before? And lastly, how is your upper burner? Great. And fantastic. We're going to finish off the class as a class group again. So before you write anything, please just close your eyes. Imagine the group as a lovely big circle of people who have all wonderfully just been working with our health, some of it in our own way, some of it all together in the same way. Appreciate the group to grip together. Appreciate each other. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciating this class for being here. Thank you so much. I really, really needed it this morning. And whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes from the circle. And any thanks you want to put in uh, is shared with all of us here because the class wouldn't be what it is without everyone who comes to join in and brings their energy, brings the love. And it's been started and run by us, but we are by no means the, the sort of soul energy of the class. So I really, really thank you all. And it's lovely to be here. Kat, thank you for doing such a great job. I noticed lots of chat whizzing by. So there's a heart from me to you all. Uh, have a fantastic day. Um, I think I think we may have just parted the clouds and brought the sun out here in Norfolk. Nice work, everyone. Have a beautiful day. See you next Wednesday. 
enjoy yourselves and remember here this liver 13 it releases the diaphragm settles the abdomen the lower back and harmonizes liver and spleen all good cheerio